Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, we're doing something a little different today with the Tacoma. We're changing this factory grill out. With the chrome around it. I hate the chrome. This is the last piece of chrome left besides the headlights and the fog lights. Something a little more spectacular. And I'm quite excited because I've only seen a couple of these so far. Not on the streets just yet. But this is going to be really cool on a 2018 with this delete right here. So let's take this off. And let's start putting this one together. So you guys can see. So let's start getting into this. So we're going to be needing. Is this the flathead screwdriver? This to pop these caps off. A 10 millimeter with an extension. If Well you don't have to have an extension. And just something for. You know. Whatever. Just there. And then you're going to need a screwdriver too. So, you know, that's going to come later. But for now, you, what you do is you come up here, you take off, pop the hood, and you got to take these two bolts out. So one right here, one right here. And then you're going to pop these little cap things off. And this is what the screwed flathead's for. So you're going to pop this one off right here, right there. And then you're going to come down here, and you're going to go all the way in this empty vask of nothingness on the Tacomas. And it's right there. I don't know if you can't see that, but it's right there. You're gonna pop that one off too. And then you're gonna basically just pull it straight out. But before you do that, for you guys that have 2018s, you're gonna have to disconnect the uh, sensor. So this is how you disconnect the sensor, it's right there. But we'll come to that in a second. So let me take these screws out. Pop this off and do the same thing as okay. So now I got these bolts out and I took the ones down here out. I'll show you guys how to do it from right here. So you're going to want to go to this flat end, which is right here, and then you just pop it up and then just come right out just like this. That's what they look at. And do one more. And then we'll do the wiring harness real quick on the safety sensor, the Toyota safety sense, and there's the other one. So, safety sensor, let me see. You got this little prong right here, which you're gonna have to push this down, and push it down, just like this. It's this little brown tap. And then right here, you have this. You have this sensor right here, and you're just gonna disconnect it right Right there, just like that, and that's your Toyota safety sensor, guys. Right there, disconnected. And when we take the grill off, um, which you want to already see, it, it already just wants to pop off, and it basically just popped off right then and there. So, you're basically just gonna nudge at it like this, and boom, she comes right off like it's nothing. And make sure when you do pop it off, look around. No loose wires, just in case. So this is what it looks like. And then, you basically just want to pull straight out, just like that. And boom, we got the grill off. And this thing is quite fucking heavy too, surprisingly. So you want to set it down, just like so. Because we're still going to reuse the painted piece. So now I have here, you can actually look how empty this trunk is. It's it's crazy. We gotta do a thumbnail. So we're gonna do a thumbnail. Uh, we might do some sort of thumbnail, maybe something like this. Like, I don't know. But here's a Toyota Safety Sense. We're gonna leave this. So nothing like that. We're gonna keep all this stuff. I mean, you could get rid of, you could basically just clean all this up. That's what I might do. And you could just come down here now and just look. Like, it's like a foot of emptiness. It's crazy. So, you basically have a power steering, cooler, trans cooler, radiator. You know, you could probably upgrade this. This would, if, if you could upgrade this, the trans cooler on it. Now, I don't, I don't know about the power steering cooler. I think it's perfectly fine for now. But, yeah, it's not bad. We'll figure all that stuff out when a bumper comes or something like that. So, here's this. And to assemble this, 
Uh, we'll go inside because you actually have to face it down and I don't want to scratch up the paint or mess this up because I might try and sell this whole part or see if anyone wants it. But right now, let's just clean a couple, I'm going to clean a couple things up, take this inside and I'm going to show you guys how to dismantle this and putting the new one on there. And this is the fun part. This is where it starts getting fun now, guys. Stay tuned. So one more tool you're going to need is this bad boy right here. Just a little screwdriver. You're going to take these screws out. But first, before you do that, I'm going to take this wiring harness. So this is the safety sense right here. This is the sensor. Now you have little tabs all the way around this. So you're going to decompress these. Ugh. There we go. Oh, nope, just click back in place. Come on, you little bastard. It's so much difficult with one hand. Now I know, now I know how bad it is for you guys that actually do videos. So let's just undo these two. There's only two basically screws. You got one right here, one right here, and I believe you got one more right here, but we'll, we'll see in a second. So I'm gonna disconnect this. Oh, this thing is on there actually all right hold on i'm gonna put you guys down for a second so you're gonna get yourself a nice bigger one to take these bad boys out they're kind of on there a little bit and then you're gonna get yourself a little one for the screws all the way around all the way around i think there's 12 of them but we'll do that in a second um so i got this disconnected this disconnected i'll get these disconnected these three tabs in a second uh, so I don't break them so I got these disconnected now and, uh, let's do that. I'm gonna pop these off and go from there All right. right when you pop the sensor off after that chrome screw right there now this thing's a little heavy and you don't want to break this this is your sensor I guarantee you this is an OEM, I want to say a good $300 sensor. I don't know, I haven't looked into it, but we'll clean it up and put it back on the truck. I'm actually going to put this somewhere safe so it doesn't get dropped and I don't have to spend a lot of money on it because this is how DIY goes. You don't want to break shit. So we'll put it back. Um, I'm actually going to put it right here and I'm going to put it over here somewhere extremely safe. We're going to take these little washers and we're going to reuse these. We're going to be reusing these washers, so we're going to be putting them over here. And now we're going to start the long process of taking all these screws out. And I might go get power tools for this because it's going to take a little while. And when we do that, we're going to try and pry all this open. And when we do that piece, we'll get these last tabs out and start putting the new grill together. Go from there, so I'm going to go get a power tool. So I don't feel like doing this by hand. Those screws out get, get yourself a power tool It'll save you so much time there's probably like 30 fucking screws it's pretty sad so now you're gonna this is the sucky part so i might go inside for this but you're gonna want to just all of these tabs all the way around just around the bezel so that i notice is there's screws in here but they're keeping pieces of the old grill that we won't need intact so we're, we're not going to need that and you're just going to leave them there so all the ones around here and in here and in here just the ones around are the ones that you're going to need and then you're just going to decompress all these like little knobs so i'm going to go inside and do that because I, I need to sit on like um basically just carpet or something this is probably the hardest part about this whole thing so I'm going to go do that and try not to break none of these so you can try and maybe sell it or give it to a friend. So these tabs, don't break them. You shouldn't break, the truck's not too old so it's not that bad, but it's still possible to break them. So go from there. So now that you've got all your pieces, we're going to be reusing this. We will not be using the chrome bezel and we will not be reusing all this. But I'm going to see because of the seal, we might have to reuse the seal. So. We'll go from there. Wiring harness is completely off. Truck is beeping. Now we're going to get the grill out and go on the bed and start putting it all together and go from there. So let's go see what kind of grill I got, which I'm pretty sure you guys will be pretty stoked on this. It's 
move the sensor, and this is the sensor's kit. This is the sensor. So we'll put that over there, actually. So, here we go. One-handed. Get, get out of here. We'll put the old, old grill in there. Alright. Here we go. Oh, it's black. That's all that matters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here it is. Pop that off. This is not my first time seeing it. Um, I had to make sure everything was okay. Oh. <laughs> is it? It is. There she is. The beautiful TRD Pro. With all these. So we have to put it on, and that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to put them all on there, and then remove the sensor piece. And I get the glass piece tomorrow, so we'll just put that on there separately. And then, let me see if I have to put... I might have to put the, uh, I don't know, some sort of uh, that squishy thing on here. Maybe, who knows, we'll see, but let's put all the letters on there and go from there. So after you get all the letters on there and everything on there, take super glue. Put it, flip it over like this, guys. And each one of these little dabs, I'm gonna be putting a dab of super glue in each one so these do not ever come out. That's one of the things that I'm kind of worried about the screw. And then we'll do this, put the sensor on there, wire it all up, put it on there and call it done. So, and I'll also use some more, some actually better stuff that they gave me. So, and here's the super glue. So let's do it. Put the super glue in there. Should be good. Give it a little bit. We're going to be taking these out. And they actually melted this. But we're going to take them out anyway because we actually have the sensor. So let's pop it out. Let's do it all. I'm probably just going to cut all the way around these. So go from there. So basically they used like a factory super glue in a way. But <laughs> this thing is trash because we actually have the real one coming. And it should be here tomorrow and here's the real sensor so we're gonna put the sensor on and um, see what it looks like it's pretty interesting oh my bad wow it fits up perfectly it's got the screw mounts and everything so that's actually kind of cool so let's go get the screws and put it on. Confirm and not going anywhere now, boys. Nowhere. She's not going anywhere. So perfect. Let's do the wiring real quick and go from there. Now we're about to merge both pieces of plastic to the painted plastic and the grill and everything like that. So I'm going to start merging it all. This is kind of the simple part, so you guys can figure it out. But working with one hand really sucks. So I'll show you guys after I merge these two and then... I'll merge the grill, put it back on the truck. Let you guys know if the sensor worker doesn't work, so let's find out. Put all the screws back in. If you guys are using power tools, just if it's a just a little bit, not too much, it, it will break the plastic. Um, didn't do it, but I know I've known from past. Lots of past experience with other vehicles. So these are both connected. We're about to put the TRD Pro grill on a SR5 2018 Toyota Tacoma with the sensors. So let's put it all back together and see if these actually work with the sensors. I'm actually quite interested. I really hope so because I've been waiting all day for this grill. <laughs> and it would be extremely sad if they doesn't. So let's find out. Let's do it. Let's actually put it all together. Oh my god is that actually my truck holy shit wow and look guys you can see the sensor tomorrow i actually get the piece so i'll be leaving it just like this um i get the bezel tomorrow it look it looks so good i just need to know if it figures if it actually works so we're gonna wire it up with all the wires, put the Toyota safety sensor back in and figure out if this bad boy actually works or not. So I'm extremely excited 
it looks so good. Like, so good. It looks amazing. I absolutely love it. So, let's, uh, <laughs> let's actually, um, see if the sensor works. And let's plug it back in and do its thing and put all the bolts back on and go from there. Let's do it. Actually, I'm actually really quite interested if I turn the truck on, if it's going to throw any code. So let's find out. Ah, uh, no, not yet. Since August, I cannot see. Um. Hmm, not yet. That's good. That's great. You just got to wait till it recalibrates itself and... Boom, done. Let's go see what it looks like. Oh, you guys. You have no... You have no idea how much I love it. Oh. I mean, it doesn't look that different, but it just changes the whole truck. And then my piece comes in tomorrow, so I can just cover this up. So, I'll be able to cover that up tomorrow. This looks great. I'm going to make these white, most likely. It looks so much better. Even the Tundra's one isn't horrible, but I just wish it was... I wish it was just like a black. But, not my truck. Definitely my truck. I love this fucking truck. And look at that. It just... It looks amazing. Looks amazing. So thanks for watching guys. I'll let you know what happens. Uh, we'll put the rest on tomorrow. Um, but thanks for watching. Tune in next time. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye.